Hello Year 11, um, I'm going to do a quick video which is going to try and tie into your uh, DME walkthrough which you've had with Miss Buckley and Mr. Davis and I'm going to try and show you a little bit about how to pick apart resources um, using those materials that you're given and I'm going to try and link it into some of the things that we discussed today related to food security um, using the BUST strategy or box underline strategize and time and I'm going to you know very briefly go through the questions first of all so you've seen a lot about this but again this is just so that you have um, a resource that you can go back to before you complete your tasks on Friday so outline Ghana's current level of development including its successes and challenges that's part one so we're going to start off with that in a bit and then we're going to propose one strategy which would allow a, a Ghana to further develop and justify how this strategy would be able to increase development so the development strategy and how it increases development specifically and that's going to be part two now just highlight here it says Ghana is an LIDC using the understanding and resource booklet so your understanding and your resource booklet write a brief report on Ghana's current economic development and just to highlight a little bit further that it says you need to decide on a strategy that would help to continue this development this is repeated in the proposal section here okay so I'm gonna start off with your your summary or your outline okay as we know we're summarizing, we're outlining, we're not going into too much detail. We're just kind of summarizing our points using the resources that we've been given. I'm going to go back and I'll show you the resources in a little bit. Um, but we're going to start off a brief mind map, and that's going to be on part one, which is the current, let's say, current pros and cons, or the current successes and failures of Ghana. Just to highlight that we're always going to try and link it to this concept of economic development because this is what we've been asked to do. So, first of all, we're not going to be using the world map and the reason for that is said on this slide that it does not help you understand anything to do with the successes and cha challenges of Ghana specifically. Now, when we come to figure two, which you've got, it's really clear that there are a number of challenges that Ghana has specifically connected to e economic development and that's going to be Ghana's 1760 GNI per capita income gross national income so the GNI gross national income is going to be considered as a success I'm just going back here to start that off okay um, and that is per person per capita we know that is 1760 US dollars um, and we can say that versus a number of other countries such as Kenya, Mo Mozambique and Sierra Leone it's almost double of all of these at least so it's it's not quite double Kenya's it's um, if you double Kenya's Kenya's would be 1860 so it's slightly less than double of Kenya's gross national income or the income that each person makes on average per year um, but it's significantly more, nearly, th I think actually three times more Mozambique's and definitely double Sierra Leone's income. So it is greater than the income of other LIDCs. Uh, and that's definitely a success because you can see here that it breaks away from the pattern of being below $1,000 um, for low income and developing countries in terms of the amount of income that people make so that would be something that you could actually go on and you could say you could say that this clearly breaks a pattern based on figure two it's an exception to that pattern it's a bit of an outlier and it shows that uh, you can say there has been economic development in Ghana okay I'm gonna very briefly come up with a couple of other things that we could refer to again we're always going to try and link it into economic development life expectancy is is higher than all of the other three so we can definitely consider this as a as a success life expectancy is higher now remember this is a social indicator 
So life expectancy specifically is 66 years old on average for Ghana. Um, and if we look at the other LIDCs, we can see that it's, you know, Kenya has 64, I think Mozambique was 57, let's just very go quickly go back, 53 for Mozambique, 57 for Sierra Leone. Um, and we'll just note that down very quickly. Um, how do you link this? How do you kind of connect this to an economic measure of development? Well, we can say that if people are living longer, this suggests that the, let's say, access or ability to purchase food is greater in Ghana. Now, again, that is connected to this figure here where we can see that people in Ghana can afford significantly more than people in Mozambique, Kenya and Sierra Leone. So, of course, it makes sense that they're going to be able to live longer. Maybe they can afford health care. So, it's important to use this word afford in this answer because it's going to link into all of the other data that you've been given. There's other information here like doctors per thousand and access to clean drinking water which can be linked back to the idea of income. So the amount of people that can access clean drinking water might be connected to the wealth of the area and the amount of money that can be spent on improving the infrastructure, the amount of money that can be spent on providing wells to the population or for them to actually have systems in their homes that can access clean water. So again, really, really important that you break down this information and say that this, these successes and failures are linked to economic development in this way. Um, food security we're going to be focusing on later on as we're going to be focusing on um, primary industry. You can see here that there's a great challenge on relying on the primary industry, especially considering a lot of people would be in subsistence farming. They would be doing low technology based farming, um, not really sustainably. They wouldn't have an, maybe the, the concept, they wouldn't understand the concept of crop rotation. Um, and you can see here that the secondary manufacturing is, is quite significantly lower, um, f especially for a country where wages are going to be really low and companies would normally like to have manufacturing in that company or in that country because the, because they're going to have to pay their workers much less so it's surprising to see that secondary is much lower for that reason um, and then if you look at food security you can see that there are some parts that are significantly below the what we want to say is the 93 percent is relatively secure anything below that is not secure so and so the eastern um, zone here in Tanzania is you know significantly below 99 percent but just below the cutoff point for being good the areas in orange are the places that um, need especially considering Tamale is, is, is your is quite an important area in terms of being a, um, a city um, you, w you would imagine that this area should be much higher it's not and then for Upper West and Upper East, they are really low, especially Upper West. And uh, you wonder maybe is this connected to the fact that there's a couple of countries on the border of either of these, and are they maybe native people living in this area, or or are there areas here that are um, suffering for any other reason? Um, so again, this is going to be quite an important piece of information for the challenge section. So if we come down here, we can talk about the challenge of food security, challenge of affording food and you can refer to that map that we saw the challenge of doctors per, per thousand and that was point 0.1 per thousand just want to double check that piece of information that we're not giving you incorrect information and it is point, point 0.1 doctors per thousand people that is really low. That means that there's um, one. There's not even one doctor for every thousand. There's one doctor, let's say, for every ten thousand people in that country. Really difficult. So it's actually one 
doctor per 10,000 people. That's huge compared to the advanced countries. And don't forget that you can compare these to advanced countries as well. Okay, now when it comes to actually writing all of this, let's just take one of them and see how would we explore this. We want to make sure that we use the wording of the question. So, Ghana, which is an LIDC, has had, let's say, many successes and failures. Um, and that's going to be our point here. So Ghana has had many successes and failures, including, and we're just going to pick one to start off with, and we'll pick gross national income, including a, let's say, an improved gross national income figure per thousand. Sorry, apologies. Just per capita, per capita per person and we then go on and we give some evidence we give some data for our first E and um, Ghana's GNI per capita measured in US dollars because we're trying to um, compare it to other countries so we put we convert all of their currencies to dollars is 1760 US dollars um, and that is significantly higher than all other countries, all other LIDCs in figure 2. We've now referred to a figure officially such as, and then you can give your, give your example, for example Mozambique having um, a GNI, uh, sorry, having um, about 600, uh, 600, no, 590 US dollars per year per person. Now remember, the average for UK is, is, is significantly higher than that. If we look at the UK, the UK's is 39,140 on average. Probably works out to around 35,000 pounds or something like that. And that has probably changed even since 2015. Now, coming down to the explanation, Okay, as a result, it is clear, let's say we're just doing P instead of Peel, as a result it is clear that Ghana has made, let's say relative improvements in its development in the ability to afford let's say important services, important goods such as food and that would be a nice structure for you to write with and you've got your data, you've got your explanation and then you move on to another one until you'd say have three or four of these, um, I would say at least three and and you've and I would definitely not just focus on the positives, you've got the negatives as well, you've got the challenges of doctors, you've got the challenges of affording food specifically, so looking at the food security map. There are many other challenges and I'm just going to refer to one more which is a reliance on a single commodity which um, I believe Miss Buckley was talking about in the hall, so reliance on one one or two commodities and those commodities would be cocoa which is in your resource booklet and timber I think there was one more I can't remember the name of it but these are if the prices of these for example were to go down that would be a significant ch significant challenge for um, Ghana to have to try and overcome in some way now for section 2 I'm going to do a separate video because this one's quite a you know I've got quite a lot in there and um, so Good luck with this section, and then go on to the next one when you've finished writing, uh, practicing writing the first part, the part one of that question.